faith is when you invite Jesus into your situation and he don't use grapes to make wine and you don't complain. See, we all have our ways of making wine, right? Our ways is grapes. If you want to have a happy life, it has to be Johnny. If Johnny is in your life, I'd be very happy. And when God takes Jose, you're like, there is nothing good could come out of Jose. When it's Lucy, she's the one. She's the grape that will turn into wine. Jesus, take Lucy. I know she's still a grape, but you can squeeze some things out of her. And she can be an awesome, beautiful wife. And you see that Lucy doesn't even like you. And something else happens and here is some other person there and you're like well there is for sure nothing good could happen out of this and sometimes you must understand if you want his wine you're gonna have to get it his way most of us want his wine our way Can somebody say amen See, we come to God with this faith that says this, God, I know you want to do something in my life. Here is how you should do it. And we know God does not like to take orders. God has a tendency of having his own ways and usually he doesn't take orders. And when God begins to take water, we stand there and we with our logical mind look at water and it's like, okay, I asked him for the wine. There is no way in this world this can lead me to that. And so guess what? We leave Jesus at the water not knowing that his ways are higher than your ways. His wine is better than your wine and therefore his ways will not be your like your ways. You have to have your faith be flexible. When he brings you to water, you don't fly out, don't quit, don't drop and you say this is crazy. But I'm gonna stick with you Jesus because his ways lead to his wine and many times his ways will first take you off, fry your brains. He said, this does not make sense. I'm asking God, prosper me. He keeps putting that verse in Malachi on my heart. Pay your tithe. There is no way in this world I'm going to get more money by giving it away. God said, water leads to wine. No! Grapes lead to wine. It's when my boss finally gets it that I deserve promotion. Then things will happen. And God says, Malachi 3. No. His way leads to wine, not your way. Same thing happens in relationships where many times maybe you've been in a relationship and now it's a time where the Holy Spirit places on your heart, confirms it with pastors and leaders that hey, you've been in relationships for so long and nothing ever worked out. Take a break and God will bring somebody into your life. Huh? Of course God will bring somebody into my life after I take a break. Really? That's not possible. The only way God can bring somebody into my life is if I will have my profile on every dating site on the internet. If I will not miss one conference in Trey Cities and the ones the Pastor Vlad goes into as well. The only way that I get wine is if I get grapes and Jesus says I can do it my way. Can you trust God's way to get you to your wine? Don't have your faith so stiff that when God brings water you freak out. Don't have your faith so stiff. When God didn't bring the grapes, you have a heart attack. Or when God takes your grapes and you prayed it and you blessed it and you confessed it and you possessed it and you spoke the scriptures of it and God says, over here, water. You look to God. Yeah, I'm going to die. I'm going to go to China and die. That's what's going to happen to me. I'm going to die. And God says, oh no, you're not going to die. I'm going to do something wonderful in your life my way is better.